grab yourself a snack and a beverage. You're not going to go anywhere for the next hour and a half or so. Kickoff is on the way next. This is return. Across the 20 down to the 26 yard line. Let's say hello to our Portland offense. That neck roll, you think, you know, he's just only going to blitz, but no, multi dimensional player. Huge third and eight coming up early in this game for Portland, trying to establish this drive. Here's the throw, and it's complete and room to run. The wide receiver, number 19, Terrell Cooper, for the first down, but there is a penalty. Oh, and that's going to go for more. Number nine, Joey Robb. A 33-yard attempt. The snap, the hold, the kick is good. Portland strikes first after a 13-play drive. And now on third and nine. Big play coming up for Carolina. South to throw, and it's complete. What a great reception that time by Chase Earle. Defense has come to life with 240 remaining in this first quarter. They keep it on the ground with Ike McBride running left side. Got room to run starting down the sideline here. Not afraid of contact ever. And that's what she does best. And now look at this for a little uh, quick action there. Prasad, they go right back to him and see where you have McBride with... One receiver up at the top of your screen. As you can see, they keep it on the ground to McBride. McBride in for the touchdown. A great response by Carolina. How little how little field is left. Third and nine. One receiver to the bottom of the screen and three up to the right. For Jive, the throw to the end zone, and it's intercepted. Oh, my goodness. What a job of extending by Ibari Amon Eglin, and how disheartening. For this Portland fleet. Amon England is single-handedly stopping this drive in its tracks before oh. any point can be scored. What a beautiful jump and just reach up and snag that one. Nobody in the backfield. Three receivers at the top of the screen, two to the bottom, and Matt South is going to roll out and throw across his body to a completed target. Chase Earl once again coming up with a big reception. Too much traffic. Now on third and two. Only one man in the backfield, and you see Matt South roll out to throw complete. That time, it's Chris Curtis, and he makes up for not getting out of bounds earlier at that point in time. And here we go. And that pass is complete. South to number 86, Vince DeSantis, and they go no huddle. Third and one coming up. Pressure coming, and he just had to get away. Just had to throw it away. Matt South was getting absolutely blitzed, pummeled it on the backside. Malone Brown on to attempt a 22-yard field goal. The kick is up and good, so they extend their lead to a full touchdown now after a 13-play, 73-yard drive. He's looked at Earl quite a bit in this game. We'll see if he goes back that direction. South to throw. That time he gets his man. Vint DeSantis has only continued to help them exponentially. A short field, and they're taking advantage of it. The toss to the left side to McBride, and it goes nowhere. A nice defensive effort by the Portland Fleet and number 44, Brody Gulch. They have pushed this Skyhawk team into a must-pass situation. Here they will send Chris Curtis in motion. South to throw. Complete. That is to Curtis. And that is actually going to move Chris Curtis into seventh place all time. And that instead sends out Malone Brown for a field goal attempt. This one is going to squeak inside. Oh, and we got an injury as well. Just oh, no. too much time. Yeah, Mojo McLean gets love down finally. They give it back to Scott Johnson. He makes a man miss. He's got room to run. Shakes another tackle down to the 40-yard line. Portland threatening to make a game of this one. Again, another handoff. Ezekiel Love and Carolina right now just scratching their head. Take a look at the second half rushing yards. 
Joey Robb now on to attempt a 29-yarder that would bring them closer. That kick is good. A rollout by Matt South. He throws across his body. The pass is complete, and another impressive reception. That time, again, Chase Earl. This game the entire way through. 7.44 left in the game. And take a look at McBride hurdling again over defenders into the open territory. A first down, down to the 20-yard line. We hit on the play. Second and two coming up with Prasad in the backfield. No, I'm sorry, that's McBride. And look at that bulldozer by McBride. To the end zone. No, dragged down from behind. But nevertheless, Portland trying to stay in this game with the clock running down. Six minutes and counting. They want to relegate it to a field goal. And they're not going to be able to. Ike McBride pushing her way into the end zone for a touchdown. Prasad saw that coming all the way. Fourth and four. Do or die time for the Portland Fleet here. They send a man to the bottom of the screen. Three wide receivers, which Jive looks towards. That pass off the hands. Oh, that hurts. Off the hands of the intended target, Michael Knight. Carolina will take over. The handoff again to McBride. Running tough. Will not go down. There's the first and right here. You will see, of course, Portland using their timeouts, and we're going to see Carolina uh, continue probably to keep it on the ground. They just want the points. It's fine. Malone Brown to attempt a 30-yarder. The snap and the hold is good, and right down the middle. So Carolina extends their lead to 23-6. to six. That's going to put them to 4-3, and three, but still anything can happen. And then, like you say, until that final whistle blows, keep fighting. And, oh, that one all intercepted, and that was a, a good-looking drive there that comes to an end with Davidson Joseph coming up on the INT. This one is in the books. Carolina wins 23-6. to six.